Around the world, people from different cultures have beloved sweets. We Salvadorians have many, but one of my favorites is torejas. For me, torejas are a callback to memories of my abuelita Tere, who would bring our family together under one roof to celebrate special occasions. Amongst a parade of kisses and hugs, I remember sitting back in awe of my tias and abuelita at how they would prepare the festivities with so much care and love. I can feel the tenderness and the love of these memories in a bite of a toreja. Torejas are warm, spongy slices of bread soaked in a cinnamony syrup so that every bite is an explosion of flavor, sweetness, and deliciousness that just melts in your mouth. No one made better torejas than my abuelita, and unfortunately, when she passed away, things changed. Like what happens with a lot of families dealing with loss, some families come together and some families drift apart. Mine was the latter. My dream is to one day own a home and bring the family back together through our food and celebration. But there's one big problem. I don't know the recipe. But thankfully my mom does, so I had her send it over to me so I could just give it a try and get one step closer to my dreams. And a delicious Lorea. And if I have any trouble, I'll just call her. Hopefully she answers because uh, this should be fairly interesting. All right, y'all, the first step is we're gonna take 12 eggs. We're gonna separate the egg yolk from the egg white. That's always really hard. I always get really lazy and I just like throw it in. It's fine, I'll eat the whole egg. But let's see, let's try, let's see what happens. So this is what all my fancy cooking friends do. They like switch the little baby oak, the little baby yolk like this. This was working beautifully. Mm -mm. I'm putting the yolks in this bowl and the, and the shells in this bowl. And I just got a little bit of yolk in my bowl, but it's fine. It's just a little bit of extra love. That's what I've been told. I just have to do this uh, 10 more times. All right, so we've got plenty of egg here to spare. I'm like a optimist and I stay optimistic until the very end. So even though there's some yolk in here, I have a feeling that it's gonna be delicious. So I am ready for the next step, which is to whisk it. Ah, look at this little beautiful whisk. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whisk these egg whites for about five to seven minutes until it gets a little fluffy. Speed it up. I feel like my mom has always told me to come and watch her make this and I never actually went in to watch her. So it's getting a little soapy. I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to look like, but I'm hoping that it is. So I've been whisking for a while and I'm actually not sure if this is how it's supposed to look. So I'm gonna call my mom before I add in the egg yolks, just to make sure that we're on the right path. Hi, Nino. I'm making my torejas. Does this yeah. look right to you? No, papi, es hacerle papilo más. Oh, okay, keep going. Higher? How do I know when it's ready? I Oh, so it all has to be bubbles? Yeah. There we go. But do you think this looks ready to start mixing in, Mom? Yeah, okay, yeah. So I will call you back, Mom. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye. Love you, bye. Alright, so now I'm gonna start adding a little bit of the egg yolk. Little bit by little bit. As my mom says. It's changing the texture. It's making it a little, a little thicker. I feel like with a lot of Latin cultures, our snacks are different. Our food is different. So like, we never had Lunchables. We didn't really have chips. We always had like tortillas a mano, which means tortillas that you make by hand. This looks good to me. I am ready to move on. Alrighty, I've got my canola oil in the pan. I have my beautiful loaf of bread here that I'm gonna dip into my egg concoction here. And this is just like what my mom calls like a torta de yema, which kind of just means like egg bread, basically. You also want to use bread that's like a little bit more stale, like day old. You can also put it in your oven for a little bit to not necessarily toast it, but just dry it out, just a little bit. Alrighty, so I have my bread, it's looking good. I'm gonna dip it in my egg and then I'm gonna put it in my pan to let it fry for a little bit. Dip it in the egg. Dip it in the egg. Beautiful, beautiful. Kind of foamy. I'm gonna wait for it to get a little golden brown and then I'm gonna flip it over. It's kind of weird because I don't really know what to expect. When you ask your mom or a lot of times in your family about different recipes, they don't tell you time. They don't tell you what it's supposed to look like. Like, I don't know. My mom usually just like pushes me out of the kitchen. She's like, oh, give it, I got it. All right, so this is looking pretty good. 
just gonna spread it out a little bit, turn it around. It's now like a really pretty little gold toast baby right here. It's the syrup soaks in and it's just like this spongy piece of toast. It's gonna be delicious. All right, so now we're gonna work on the syrup four cups. So here's my first two. All right, I'm adding in my second two now. You put two little cinnamon sticks in. Alrighty, so I just added in my panela, which is kind of like hardened brown sugar, and it's just to kind of make it a little sweet. Alrighty, y'all, we're gonna let this come to a boil, then I'm gonna lower the fire and let it come to a simmer. You're gonna cook this for 15 minutes, and it's gonna get nice, thick, and syrupy. Well, according to my mom. So we'll see. Alrighty, y'all, so now we have the bread in this casserole dish. The syrup is smelling so good and so sweet, and now I just get to pour it over, and this is my favorite part. I'm super excited. I'm gonna let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes. All right, guys, I'm gonna plate the torajas now. I'm gonna put a little bit of fruit on the side to make it look pretty. Traditionally, I haven't really seen that, but I'm excited to just give it my own flair. Yes. Oh my God, I'm so, I'm genuinely so excited. I'm gonna put some blueberries on the side. You can't go wrong with some raspberries either. It looks good to me. I just need to call my mom and get her final approval. All right, finally finished, you wanna see? Okay. Ching, 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 ching. Oh, it looks good. Does it look good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it's hard. It, you know, it, is, it, it sounds like it's a simple thing to do, but it's hard to do it. Let's see. Mmm, that's really good. Congratulations. Oh. Thank you. You. <laughs> <laughs> you did something. <laughs> Well, I mean, you heard it guys. I feel like I made my mom proud and I know that I made my abuelita proud too. I'm sure that she's watching me. I'm sure that she wants a bite. So, shout out to you girls, this is for you. It's bomb. Oh, yes.